Bad blood inside a Hilliard bar led to a double shooting last night. Started as a fight at the Special K Tavern, then led to one man shooting another man. Jeff Humphrey live now in Hilliard. And Jeff, that suspected gunman ended up shooting himself first? And Nadine, there is a reason why that our concealed weapons permits are not valid inside establishments that sell alcohol, and that's because guns and booze simply don't safely mix. What happened here at the Special K Tavern last night, a vivid example of what can occur when that important gun safety rule is broken. This afternoon, Cameron J. Peterson spent his 47th birthday appearing before a Superior Court judge. Witnesses say Peterson was inside the Special K Tavern when he knocked another patron unconscious with a beer bottle. I was talking to the owner, and uh, all of a sudden you hear smack, 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 boom, break. Turn around, there's a guy on the pool table, his glasses broke, and a dude standing on top of him. That's when Greg Zilke realized someone had clobbered his dad while Zilke Sr. was playing pool. Trent Hollum led Greg outside in the hopes of keeping him from avenging his dad's injuries. That's when Peterson confronted Greg in the parking lot. He was right there with a broken pool, pool cue and came at us. Oh, wow. I told him to put it down. So he reached in his pants. Like he was pulling out a gun, I told him not to do that. Uh, I said it wouldn't be wise, and he ran. The and so Greg caught up with his dad's alleged assailant here in front of Panda Express. Peterson allegedly asked Greg, are you ready to die tonight? And that's when Greg punched him in the face. They ended up on the sidewalk right in front of Panda Express wrestling, and then the dude tried to pull out a gun and shot himself before he shot the other guy. Greg told Spokane police he had held up his arms to shield his body from the incoming bullets. My wife noticed that he had two gunshots in his arms, and, and uh, so she brought him to the paramedics when they arrived. As the two men were taken to the hospital with small caliber, non-life-threatening wounds, police used a fire department ladder to retrieve the pocket pistol Peterson had allegedly tossed on the roof of the restaurant. And Nadine, today in court, the court found that based on Peterson's alleged actions that there was a likelihood that he could commit additional acts of violence. And tonight, he's being held in lieu of a $15,000 bond. Reporting live in Hilliard, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.